Hi, my name is Bill. I'm John. And uh, the name of the show is To Be Determined. So the idea is we wanted to show some easy cooking of uh, the available uh, appliances that we bought in the last couple of years that are fairly inexpensive and easy to use. We're not going to use an oven. We're not going to use the stove very often. Mainly what we're going to use is this handy dandy uh, Instant Pot, which is this the eight-core version. We also, at some point, will use the sous vide, but uh, that'll come in later. And then we have a tiny toaster, fancy uh, smart oven. So we'll walk through the steps. We'll show the ingredients, like any other cooking show, I guess. I don't need to explain a cooking show, right? Nope. Uh, so this is our first shot at it. Uh, hopefully we get better. Yeah, I get better, right? That's why I'm here. That's to provide the idiot in the room so I how to cook. Cheers and beers. First episode one of To Be Determined. Consistency of onions. Now that and celery. I can't do celery either. Or I was eating leftovers this week that which had lettuce in them. And I knew it was lettuce. But when I bit into it, it had that same consistency as onion. And my crazy brain 
make it a hard for me to eat the food that I was eating, even though I knew it was lettuce. So that's how crazy I am. We only have peas with our spaghetti. I was not a squash guy either. Let me still do peas and spaghetti. Peas and spaghetti. Okay, sauce. Are you talking about spaghetti noodles or spaghetti sauce? They're together at some point because that's what makes the spaghetti, right? Well, spaghetti technically is the noodle. Right, but you don't just eat the noodle, you put the spaghetti sauce in. So when we make our spaghetti, <laughs> we put peas You're talking about the real spaghetti, not the ingredient spaghetti. Is that, is that what we're going right. Okay, I got it. Right. Ready for your new task, John? Yep. Uh, we're going to make it super easy for you. The instant pot? Yeah. We'll take the lid off, we'll turn it on saute. And so spin it around. We're gonna put some oil in, and while you do that, I will start the blending process. There you go. Crack it away. Very good. So while you're doing that, we're gonna do some immersion blending. Now tomatoes are kind of like onions to me. Like I said earlier, I'm not a big tomato fan. I like to hang my tomatoes too. So the weird thing for me, but marinara to me should be smooth anyways. Nice. That's the 
the other thing. Marinari put um, extra virgin olive oil on it. How much? Apparently not no, very much. This is the right one. Just fill this up. It's got a breathe hole. Nope, that's not the problem. Just gotta shake it a little bit. Right, and then it took tacos off and this. Then we're regular for a few days. Yeah. I would say. What about the, the I would two say two, two tablespoons. Yeah. You got those calibrated eyes, obviously. Alright, so we'll put this all up, see what it looks like, and it doesn't look like marinara now. That is interesting. Strawberry jelly. The wine, maybe? Ha ha ha, yeah, it must be the wine, but it's just a different color. Okay. Would it be inappropriate for me to say that's what she said? <laughs> we need to tell this thing. We want to lose more customers. That's fine. All right, marinara sauce, me is done. And they got a nice purple hue to it. So, what are we doing with the garlic and the onions? It's like right magic. Watch. So. Ta da! We have about two pounds of ground beef, which is 90%, right, Lane? No, it's 85. 85%. And uh, sweet, Italian sausage. sweet Italian sausage in the bowl. And then we're going to get two eggs. Remember, you're the egg guy. Two eggs. Eggs are in here, right? Eggs are in there somewhere. Two eggs. Grab away. Right there. 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 Right does it, you put two in there? It is. Alright. So we're going to mix up the um, all the meat. And we're going to put um, eggs, two eggs. We got about three pounds of meat, so we might need another egg, but we're going to. But I could be good with that. Slightly larger than a golf ball. Tennis ball? Tennis ball is about the same as a baseball. <laughs> Racker ball. A scrotum? I don't think we're going to go there. Let's go fast with two hands in the middle of the balls. Snowball. You can make snowball inside, right? Like me. Exactly. I'm looking for something with a finite size. So why don't we just say slightly bigger than a golf ball? Because I don't think there is anything out there that's like slightly bigger than a golf ball. I'm going to look it up. Hey, Google! That's why I Two golf balls. That's what's bigger than one golf ball. Wow. I like my answer. <laughs> An orange. What's the little orange is it Kroger called? Cuties. Nectarines. Cuties? Yeah. 
Maybe a kumquat? No, a kumquat's smaller. You know how many penny balls the size of a kiwi? Let me think about it. I gotta wash my hands. And then we will be done with meatballs and marinara. The ball is pretty high. Ow! <laughs> oh, dude. Now I got meat everywhere. Great. If I were doing this, I would have cooked the meatballs before I put them in. Pizza. I understand. That's what I was saying. A lot of people are concerned that the meatballs won't hold together. Are they well, I'm not worried about holding together. I'm worried about cooking all the way through without burning the marinara. I got what you're saying. We're doing it's the pressure cooking out. thing. We're not boiling them. We're pressure cooking them. So. But how are you going to get that crispy outer? You don't get crispy outer. Hmm. So I read a thing, a blog, where she was she tried doing the browning thing. Because a lot of people do the browning ahead of time. She put it in there on, below the ones that weren't browning, and they all came out to be the exact same thing. How long do you think this will cook to be done? This right here. To be edible? Edible. I mean, it's edible now. We need rhyme. My, another, here's a little known fact. My parents used to feed me raw hammer. That's gross. What do they call that? There's a name for that. It's a uh, uh, tartar. Tartar, yeah. Tartar. Uh, I'm not a big over there. raw meat guy, unless it's oysters. I'm gonna guess Instant Pot wise. I'm it's not a, hold on, hold on. This stop right there. It's not an Instant Pot. Instant. It's an Instant Pot. It's an enunciation, it's a total, it's a real word. Instant Pot. I go online onto the Instant Pot forums, and people on the Instant Pot forums are calling them Insta Pots. And you just wanna, anyways. I'm sorry, I digress. On the pressure cooker, oh. I'm gonna say it's gonna say 18 minutes and 30 seconds. And then be done, ready to eat. You're pretty close. 10 minutes. 10? 10 minutes on low pressure is what I saw. Now I don't do low pressure very often, so we're not doing low pressure. Screw low pressure people. I'm a high pressure guy, so we're going with. We don't use, we don't use any of the settings on here other than saute and pressure. Because I don't think I'll just does the same, uh, All right. does the same room? We're gonna set this for, I'm gonna do a 15, just to make, cause I wanted to infuse the flavors. And stir. So, that's all there is to it. So, half time, we switched over to liquor, cause it's quicker. Still on beer. All right, this is gonna be, ready? Five, four, here we go. Three, two, <laughs> there we go. It's beeping. All right. It's gonna be Five, ten times. Uh -huh. Five. 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 Hope those meatballs are done. I hope the meatballs don't fall apart. Same time I made the uh, meatballs and marinara. They're gonna be good. Here we go. Opening the lid. See what it looks like? Let's, Let's do it. it looks like. We're gonna scrap this whole thing? Probably. Oh my. They didn't fall apart. They did not fall apart. What you think? Does that look like marinara? Greasy, greasy marinara. I know, but we can get the grease off of there. Because I had everything in there, so it'd be really Olive easy to get Olive oil on top of there? Or, uh, uh, it's probably there. from the meat because it's 85. So it'd be real easy to, to uh, siphon off that grease right there. But don't put it in the um, your septic or in your it's drain because drain. it'll make a fat burg. It's time to make squash. When you're doing spaghetti squash, people, every time I've ever seen spaghetti squash done previously to us learning this, they cut it long ways. But when you do that, but it doesn't do the rings like spaghetti. When you cut it this way, the rings are concentric, and they, they, they go around like this, so you'll be able to scoop them out, and they look just like spaghetti. Cut away. This way? That's way. Would that be longitudinal? That looks really dangerous. Why are you shaking? <laughs> uh, you, of beer over there. Look at that. That's a pretty squash. All right, where are we going to put these seeds? Put them in the compost container. Because we compost. We Martha Stewart the shit out of this place. You like pumpkin. Don't touch the compost container. No, no, don't touch the compost container. <laughs> yeah, it's like a pumpkin because pumpkins come from the... Family family? <laughs> what family would that be? Squash family. Really? Pumpkin is a squash. Pumpkin squash? I think. Alexa, 
And then it's the pumpkin part of the squash family. According to another Amazon customer, look, pumpkin is one type of squash and squash oh, to which pumpkin... Uh, uh, I didn't need the clip play All right, so normally we make our own chicken broth here because with the instant pot, you can make a chicken broth super simple with uh, a rotisserie chicken or chicken that you made the night before. Usually when we have people over, we eat chicken wings or chicken anything. Uh, save the bones, put them in the instant pot for 50 minutes. So what we'll do is we'll make either one or two uh, cup blocks. These are two cup blocks. So we go through a lot of chicken broth, and now that we're making it, it's so much better. Basically, but since we don't have any chicken broth thawed and my box of backup chicken broth is not there, we'll use some uh, vegetable stock. We're going to uh, put some chicken broth in the bottom of the instant pot. Usually you need at least a cup, which that's not anywhere close. Uh, broth or water or liquid in the pressure cooker, you have to have at least a minimum of a cup. How do you know that's a cup? Because you didn't measure it? I have a yes. You have a name. You want to know the name of our new show? What's the name of our new show? We don't measure. <laughs> there you go. For our squash, we have our um, instant pot. We have a, a separate pot from our marinara. We have a trivet. And so we're going to put our squash in, in whatever way you can get it to fit. How about that? Yeah, okay, that'll work. So now what I'm going to do, uh, we're going to get some garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. But we'll put a little bit of garlic in the middle of the squash. Now we're going to use fancy European butter. We're all about butter these days, but we decided to go fancy and try to. you put your butter in the refrigerator? No, yes. you do not put your butter in the refrigerator. You just want to eat your butter that you're going to use in the long term in the refrigerator. So if you want to cook with something or you want to melt some butter, you push your butter in the refrigerator. If you want butter to use for bread or steaks or cookies, cookies or whatever you want to put it on, then you need to put it, keep it out. Want a spoonful of butter? Nope. Sure? Yep. I'm gonna try another wheat thing? Yep. You're not a butter guy? Not the You're not one of those margarine guys, are you? Yeah. Go on with right. the garlic. Keep going, you're the guy. I'm waiting for a spoon, I don't know what it's doing. Spoons? We don't need no stinking spoons! Okay. No! You want me to you do it? If you're not gonna do it, I'll do it. Oh, you're gonna use your knife? I'll use the knife. Oh, okay. You're gonna put like a teaspoon. And where am I putting it? Yeah. Throw it right in the middle. You're gonna pour a little bit of chicken stock. Uh, Put some on this side? Or have you already? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. There's some in there. Uh, good. That's good. That's good. I always use pepper. We love pepper. Pepper's good for you. You want to put a little uh, salt in there? Salt, pepper, butter, garlic. Oh, we haven't put the butter in yet. Use a butter knife. Butter knife. Um, probably, you know, like, you know what a pat is? A pat of butter? So you use half and half. Look at that. You don't want to taste it? You're going to look it off the mic? Yeah, okay. Go ahead. All of that in one? Or? Yeah, yeah, Mmm, butter. <laughs> you want to put a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning. A little Italian seasoning? It's in the it's shaker. It's in the big, it's a big shaker. I'm learning. I'm learning. A little bit. We have our, um, now this is this is so easy. If I can get the, they have things to sit in there. It appears to be easy. Christ. Can I make an oblong? Uh, yeah, screw it. Okay. Put your lid on. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's right. well, it's a turn for me. <laughs> we want al dente spaghetti squash. Yes, we do. That is exactly like spaghetti. We want to set it for eight minutes and then do a quick release. Once it's done, scoop it out, put it on a plate, put some marinara on it, and a voila, you have something that looks kind of Italian. Any questions? Nope. You like that butter, don't you? <laughs> yes, it is good butter. All right, here we go. We're going to pressure. So we're down to one minute. John's been grating cheese. We've been removing uh, a little bit of oil. That's, I think, from the sausage. So if you see oil, you can leave it in or you can take it out. Your choice. We're leaving. We're leaving. So our squash is ready. Release the pressure. Uh, you reach in that drawer. Our I'm not sure what's about to happen here, but I'm not really coming. We got it. Shouldn't you have your glove on the forking? No, because you're going to be picking up the squash with your non-forking. Mmm, 
Squash. See, it's separating. It's hot. There we go. I'm like all the way. So, when you get your squash, see, these uploads coming at you. Look at that. I never knew that would happen. And it comes out with so like spaghetti. Cool. That's why you have to cut it a certain and way. It makes a lot. Wow. It makes a lot. But it's not to the doneness that you like. Just take it back in the instant pot, put it for another minute. I am very impressed. That made some ah. spaghetti looking squash. All right, I'm taking out the second. So our second one, because we lost a battery. Oh They're very, those skins get a little fragile, so uh, it's easy to poke through and they get really hot. Mm -hmm. Start pulling it out like uh, spaghetti. It's really cool. I think it is. I wonder if this is why they call it spaghetti squash. <laughs> Bingo! Bam! We got that one. I like that one. Here, I'll put a little bit of butter on there to... Whatever. Oh, yeah, crazy, crazy. Damn, I can't mm -hmm. believe nature made that shit. We're gonna... Just like butter. Plus how did the they know, how did God know to make a, a squash to look exactly like something we want to eat with well, I'm not some sure sort of I sauce? Yeah, I haven't tried it. All right, we're gonna plate this up, and make it look pretty. Ready? Give me a couple, how many meatballs do you want? Two? Uh, at least two. Jesus Christ, don't be stingy on the meatballs. Let me throw it off. Uh, 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 uh. Look at that. Now, I got the bam moment. Mm. Bam! There you go. And that's how you finish marinara with meatballs over spaghetti squash. Ta-da!